Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. A brand new day. Yes, indeed. Thumbs up for that. It is... What the hell day is it today? It is Wednesday. That is a good thing. Lil Gotzi Ray's largest eye widened, his others casting about desperately in near panic. Bet Nera lay on the stone floor of the inverted pyramid against a crumbling wall, using one of his remaining arms to gently touch the gaping, torn wound in his body. Oh, this really hurts, Lil Gotzi Ray, whined Bet Nera. This hurts a, a lot. I can't find my other arms. Can you see them? The chitinous claw that had torn little Gotsy Ray's sibling into mewling, bleeding meat probed through the hole in the wall, stone chunks falling as it dug. This was bad. This was really bad. If the thing on the other side of the wall got through, they were both dead. Another chunk of stone fell and the claw probed harder. Little Gotsy Ray grabbed his groaning and bleeding sibling dragging him further into the labyrinth of stone passages he found himself in, away from the probing beast. Thumbs up for that. Tomorrow's therapy. Boy, that means I better try and get some stuff done today. Hmm, if I, if I can. I definitely got to work on that. Thumbs up for. There are a couple things I wanted to talk about today. One of them <clears throat> is that I went to my closest cannabis store yesterday and ask them, are you ever going to be getting any budget weed in? Well, here's the bad news. Um, apparently, because it was such a mild summer in this area, there's been not much of a yield over the summer. Here's the big issue. Uh, Washington State used to be just medicinally legal, and then they voted for recreationally legal some years back. Every dispensary we had closed down, all these recreational stores opened up. The dispensaries worked with you. They got as much cheap stuff as they could and as wide a variety as they could and they worked with you. If you needed pot and they were closed but they were still there, they would stay open so you could come in to get your stuff that you needed. Now that it's recreational, it's all capitalistic. Because there was a mild summer, there's not much yield. Because there's not much yield, demand is high. What do you do when demand is high? You crank up the prices. <clears throat> to get as much money as you can. So there's no budget weed in town. So yay. Doesn't matter for the people that need it medicinally, we're screwed. Thumbs up for that. So, I'm living on the remains of Concentrate, and I've got some pre-rolls, and I'm going to do what I can. Thumbs up for that. But I just wanted to mention just how joyous life can be living in a capitalistic society. Thumbs up for that. I mean, don't talk to me about that. I, I was trying to be like one of you hearing me say that, and you say, don't talk to me about that. Because... I'm just having troubles with getting, you know, cannabis in this situation when there's people who have died because they couldn't afford their their insulin. The one dollar bottle of insulin that used to cost about a dollar, but now because, hey, the drug companies can make money, it's a thousand dollars. The people that invented insulin put it out without a patent and without all this stuff so that people could make it cheap to keep people alive. And now in the United States, if you can't come up with a thousand bucks a month, you die. Thumbs up. Anyway, though, just wanted to bring that up as to a status report on that. Also, I did, I wrote some stuff down to try and remember because I've wanted to talk about this one for a while and I kind of mention it every once in a while, but my weight is such. I mean, remember, I used to be heavy my whole life. I've, most of my life, when I went into the Air Force at 19 years old, I was struggling to stay at 196, fighting hard because before that I'd been up to like 220 and I brought it down enough that I could go back into the Air Force. Not back in, but I could go in. Yeah.
After I got out, my weight was between 240 and 290. It went rawr, rawr, rawr. Very rarely was it up here. It was usually around the 240 to 250 range. Then, a couple years back, I got really, really sick and lost literally half my body mass. I went from 325 pounds down to 160 because I could not eat. I could barely drink water. All the glands in here were just swollen up to the size of marbles. I should have... I don't know what damage has been done to my body, my cardiac system because of that. Because when you lose a lot of weight that fast, it does damage to everything. So I don't know what damage has been done, but once I got down to 160, I have been fighting to stay lowish. I'm right now between 190 and 195. I kind of like to get a little bit lower again, and I definitely don't want to get heavier. But the thing is, I mean, there's people that, that eat three meals a day. I can't. I sometimes eat two meals a day. I usually eat one. And I try to limit myself down to about 1,000 to 1,500 calories. And you, the recommended allowance is over 2,000 for, you know, a guy. But I walk six to seven miles almost daily. I limit my intake to as close to a thousand or fifteen hundred calories daily. And I am still trying to go up to two hundred or more. My body wants to get heavy again because once you gain weight, your body wants to get back to that. So I look at all the people that say, oh, you need this much calories or you need this. And I, I feel jealous. Yeah, because if I eat two meals a day, oh boy, I start to pack on the pounds. <sighs> so thumbs up for that. So yeah, I go through most of my, my day just hungry. I go to bed hungry. I wake up hungry. And I know it's like, oh, your body's in starvation mode. But I know from experience in the past couple of years, that if I bump it up to 2,000 calories, even walking seven miles a day, my weight's gonna go <sighs> So yeah, I'm kind of always in starvation mode because otherwise I'm just going to get really heavy again. I don't even like weighing this much as I do. I'm too heavy. I used to have a apron which is, you know, when you gain weight and you get stretch marks, that skin will never pull back. Stretch marks is the breakdown in the collagen, and the collagen is the elastic in your skin. When the collagen breaks down, you get stretch marks, and then those spots never tighten up again. Parts of your body that don't have stretch marks like this, yeah, I've got excess weight, so I've got a small layering of fat over me now, but it's pulled in against my flesh. It doesn't do that on like my lower abdomen or my upper thighs or underneath here because I got the stretch marks. Collagen's broken down. So when I get really thin, my belly just, the loose skin flops down as an apron, as they call it. So that's joyous, but now I've got myself a little round pot belly again that's not hanging down. And that's like, oh, because when you're a guy and you have a lot of fat packed in your abdomen, that's not good. That's the wrong place for fat to be. That's not good fat. That's bad fat. You do not want your abdomen, abdominal organs packed in that fat. That's really bad for you. So, yeah, I don't like gaining weight. But as much as I try and as little as I eat, I don't know what to do. I mean, if I you exercise more, and I, I, I don't know. I already spend like three hours going on walks when I go on seven-mile walkies, so I don't want to spend more time than that exercising. That's the issue. All my life, I have liked stretching this part of my body, stretching my mind, reading, playing games, doing stuff like that. I don't like doing physical stuff. 
my body wants me to do physical stuff. I've, my body has begged me to be physical and go out and do things my entire life. But I've always been like that. I can't remember who it was. It was Plato, Aristotle, whoever, who just said, paraphrasing, you know, a man is never as active as when he is sitting deep in thought. I stretched my mind and my head, but you gotta stretch your body too, which is why I'm out walking now to try and stay alive as long as possible. But I don't wanna spend more than three hours a day on it. Ugh, such is life. But I did go out walkies last night. It wasn't a big walk because I was largely out of food. And so I walked down to Safeway. I took the long walk. This time when I went up to the top of Olympic Highway North, I passed by the cannabis store, as I'd mentioned. But then I was downtown, walked around, stopped at Safeway, bought some stuff, came on back. So I got some food, and that's good. I, I couldn't carry much because I'm when I carry, you know, stuff's heavy. And I have to carry this stuff miles and miles, so I don't buy a lot. It was just a can or two of this and that and such like that. So I got to go driving and buy food. Then I can do that. I have money for food. I have food stamps and while it's getting down, I still have some money so I can buy food and that's good. And of course there's my cannabis money that I don't have any cannabis for, but concentrate is and pre-rolls is what I'm going to have to shoot for since the budget stuff is non-existent. Thumbs up. Past that. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else. Oof, my heart skipping beat not skipping beats it was changing rhythm there's the uh oh that was it well son of a gun there are more things i've wanted to talk about i want to do more and different things i mean i like the intros that i did before where i was walking around in here and i want to do those problem is it's also a fatigue and weakness and all that because it's always a walk up hill to do anything physical i mean when i get walking it's tough, but I'm once I get started, I'm starting. But just the little things, oh, it may seem easy, but it's anything but. Thumbs up for that. And then the other types, I'm working on intros all the time. Hopefully just my reading stuff isn't boring and awful to everybody. And no fear, I will be doing more of my crazed, addicted, cowboy type character stuff. He's not gone. He is a lunatic, absolutely insane. Might be able to do something with that as a character for something. I don't know. But don't, no fear. Stuff like that is coming up. Yay. <laughs> Past that, uh, my hamsters are doing well. I'm just trying to think of things real quick so that people can know. Now, my hamsters are still all doing well. Now, Amelia, <clears throat> I don't have the money to take her to the vet. But up on this section of her head, you know, where your e the, the cat ears are, and then there's the portion right here on the kitties, she's got some marks that at first I thought it was a scratch. Now I'm thinking it's a ringworm because she's getting really thin fur right in that area. So I, I can't afford to take her to a vet, but I got to go up and check. <clears throat> like at Walmart or whatever and see if they have any ringworm treatment. And if they don't, then I don't know how I can afford to take her to the vet to get the stuff she needs. But if she's got ringworm, I need to take care of that. Hope he smokes, especially since I don't want ringworm myself. I don't want to have to go in and get ringworm treatment. Oh, so poor kitty and poor me, <laughs> but poor kitty must. She's doing well. She eats and she drinks and she lazes around the room <clears throat> and that is a good thing she's definitely a good kitty and as stated my hamsters are doing well they're just all sleeping by the time i actually start recording it's usually late enough that they're all sleeping because they're most active during dusk and dawn now some of them like little <clears throat> saber and dr snurf they just mostly stay in their nests in their homes. They're not ancient, they just don't do much. I don't know why. Little Figmo, he bounces around and does stuff all night when he's active, and that's good. And of course, little Gojira, she's always up and doing stuff. And that is a very good thing. Little Dust Moth, he's awesome. 
I have little tar cardboard tubes in his little place. I mean, they all have them, but he always gets them stuck in his wheel. So I'm having to take them out of his wheel and then he comes out of his nest and goes, what was that? So it's definitely a good thing. So all my animal, animal, animals are at least live if I gotta figure out what's going on with my poor kitty, get her that treatment. So past that though, it's just a day. So I'm gonna be cutting this one short. <clears throat> I did I let me yes I have opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab I had to make sure I actually did that I'm gonna go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment it is a range of 20 to 25 because even though I count an American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my memory uh, my memory is bad getting better all the time but I do have a functional limit I think I'm approaching that if I mispronounce a username no desperate no desperate no if I mispronounce a username no Disrespect is intended. There we are. I'm an American English speaker and I'm not reading the comments right now except for my peripheral vision. I'm just thanking people for having left a comment. Good Lord, that was awful. My sincere apologies. MCR does to Edward. Thumbs up and thank you. Madara, greatly appreciated. And Andrew Hussey, thumbs up and thank you. The DCG, greatly appreciated. James Flowers, thumbs up and thank you. Kathy Kitzkat, greatly appreciated. And mice aren't for everybody. I mean, the first time I saw mice real life, I didn't like them. So it's just by watching videos. John Rivera, thumbs up and thank you so much. Sebastian Ferris, greatly appreciated. Asta, thumbs up. And we have Deacon Sizemore, greatly appreciated. Lord Above, thumbs up and thank you. Josh Chung, greatly appreciated. Zombie Wolf, good to see you in the comments. And then we have Colin Reisenauer, greatly appreciated. You Kissed, thumbs up and thank you. Russian Timing, greatly appreciated. Haiku Eronin, I sure hope I pronounced that correctly, thank you. Abot1212, 12, 12, thumbs up and thank you. Lazy Mode, greatly appreciated. Fernando Rodriguez, thumbs up and thank you. Rapid Inertia, I like the name, thank you. Black Sabbath for, oh, Back Sabbath 420, thumbs up and thank you. Even though your comment was, mm, thank you very much for having taken the time to have left a comment. Bailey Snyder, greatly appreciated. Ah, 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 ah. I'm sorry. Bailey Snyder and Cauliflower Cake 666, thumbs up and thank you. And last but not least, I'll, Iman Yusuf, I sure hope I'm close. Thumbs up and thank you, each and every one of you. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people, and that is greatly, greatly appreciated. Definitely a thumbs up. If you could check out my various links down below, that would be awesome. I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. If you would like to support me, not yet. If you'd like to help support me, but don't want to give to one of those two things, I have a PayPal link down below that you can send money to. That would be awesome. And if you wanted to support me, but didn't want to send me money, I have an Amazon wish link down below with things like squishy bananas and cat food and hamster food and food for me and silly things and non-silly things and hope he smokes. But that would be cool if you could check it out. Now the hand motions. But do not feel obligated. I don't feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good mo wishes, not motions, wishes, and I deposit them in the bank of my heart. So thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. Definitely a thumbs up. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool. Greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are down with it, I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Hokey smokes, my hands have gone mad today. A good thing. So I've got this video that you've been watching, hopefully. I've got another video I need to edit and render, another to hopefully record, edit and render, though if I only have two videos today, there's nothing wrong with that. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing.